Hello, Professor Rosemary here and welcome to my lab. Yes, I know, my Reggie Giga's cosplay looks amazing. And there's a reason for it. Not only is Halloween around the corner, but the Crown Tundra expansion just came out. And sealed away somewhere deep inside the Crown Tundra is Reggie Drago, forged by Reggie Gigas from crystallized dragon energy. Reggie Drago looks mysterious, intimidating, and good enough to eat. I don't know about you, but when I first saw Reggie Drago, it really looked like I could eat it. Which was what inspired today's video. Reggie Drago's skin, hide, surface, its color reminds me a lot of dragon fruits, specifically the red flesh kind. And it's already in the name, dragon fruit. So in celebration of the Crown Tundra coming out, I'm gonna be Reggie Gigas for a day and make my own Reggie Drago. By the way, this is not proper lab wear. With that said, let's get making. Here's what you'll need. This takes at least two days of preparation, so do make it ahead of time before you need to serve it. Let's prepare the modeling chocolate first. Melt your dark chocolate over some hot water. Then mix in around two tablespoons of the chocolate into your corn syrup. This step helps to ensure that you get a smooth mixture. Pour in the mixture and mix until just combined. You will feel quite a bit of resistance and grittiness, and its texture will resemble soft serve ice cream. When it reaches this stage, stop mixing, stop touching it, no. My spatula is coming for your booty. Any further mixing will cause the cocoa butter to separate and ruin your modeling chocolate. Set aside overnight for your modeling chocolate to set. Next, for the body, source out and collect dragon energy from the wild. Or bite from a shop that carries them. Cut and peel your dragon fruit. Then measure out around 150 grams of the flesh. Puree it by mashing it through a sieve or by putting it in a food processor, then straining it. By the way, you might want to wear gloves for this, or you'll look like you have the essence of dragons at your fingertips. Or you look like you didn't get enough blood to your fingers. Perfect for Halloween, I guess? Anyway, Measure out 100 grams of your dragon fruit puree into a heat-safe bowl and add your sugar. Over a pot of simmering water, stir and dissolve the sugar. Once done, remove the bowl and allow to cool slightly. Then bloom your gelatin sheets in some cold water for about 5 minutes. Once bloomed, wring your gelatin and add it to the puree. It should melt nicely in no time at all. If not, heat it over the pot a little bit until it does. Prepare your molds and fill them up. I'm using a hemisphere mold, but any mold or container will do. Allow the jelly to set for at least 4 hours in the fridge. While that's chilling, let's prepare the dragon maw. So after setting overnight, your modeling chocolate will become a hard lump. But fret not, just knead it and warm it up with your hands and you're good to go. So the trick to working with modeling chocolate is to minimize handling it with your hands. It's chocolate after all, and it will melt under your body heat. If at any point you feel that things are getting melty and sticky, just pop it in the freezer for a minute or two and continue working on it. So this whole process took 3 hours of sculpting and anxiety. Here I'm just using my hands and some modeling tools to shape it into something I'm satisfied with. But you can definitely use whatever you have on hand. Get creative. And I haven't that much to say for this segment so yeah, enjoy the music and modeling process. Once you're happy with your chocolate pieces, keep them refrigerated until needed. At this point, your jellies would have at least partially set. Gingerly pry the edges of the mold away and free your jellies. Make cavities using a melon baller, 
then return the jellies to the fridge. Oh, and save your little balls. We'll need them later. With the cavities made, let's fill them with the chocolate mousse core. Bloom your gelatin sheets in some cold water for about 5 minutes. While waiting, melt your chocolates over some hot water or a microwave and allow to cool slightly. Take a dash of the cream, ring and add your bloomed gelatin, then warm the cream until the gelatin dissolves. Once so, combine it with your melted chocolate. Whip the remaining cream to a stiff peak and fold it into the chocolate. Spoon or pipe the mousse into the cavities, cover to prevent drying, and allow to set in the fridge. Around 5 hours before serving, warm and melt your jelly scoopings. Apply the molten jelly to glue the halves together. Refrigerate your sphere for at least 4 hours for the jelly glue to set. Also, we'll need some blue ganache for decoration. Melt your white chocolate as before, then stir in your cream, color it to the color of Reggie Drago's eyes, then store and allow it to set in the fridge. Right before assembly, grab your blue ganache and lightly whip it to give it some fluff. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the assembly. First, I'm going to be fancy with some dragon fruit puree. Then I'm setting the lower maw and the jelly sphere and making the eyes with the blue ganache. I'm also setting some toothpicks because the jelly can't support the weight of the upper maw. I'm then garnishing with some dragon fruit spheres, courtesy of my melon baller, and the pièce de résistance, the upper maw. And with that, we're done! I can say that I pretty much designed this dish from scratch and I've gotta say, though it didn't turn out exactly as I planned and hoped, I'm really proud of this piece. I questioned myself multiple times throughout the making process and especially at the mall making process. Why are you making this so hard on yourself? Why are you so ambitious? Dude, you're crazy. But then I thought, hey, I may be crazy, but I feel fulfilled and accomplished. It's one thing to dream and plan, but it's really something else to go through with it and realize it with your own hands. As for the dessert, the dragon fruit jelly is sweet and slightly tart, pleasantly complemented by the richness of the chocolate mousse. The mousse may look little, but it's just the right amount to complement the dragon fruit jelly. Dragon fruits taste great on their own, but you'll need to be careful when using it in dishes as its flavor can be easily overpowered. As for the dragon maw, it's amazing to look at, but not as amazing to sink your teeth into, just like shaker cookies. Though the small pieces do pleasantly melt in your mouth, so yeah, I hope you can try out this recipe because I'm proud of it. Leave your suggestions in the comments and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Yeah. <coughs> Only it's Halloween around the coat. Grace, can you pass me my moss? Oh, gross. But the Crown Tundra expansion just came out. Oh no, my red dot. My red dot. Where's my red no, dot? Like... But the Crown Tundra expansion just came out. Where did my blue dot go this time? It really looked like I can eat it. That fed up. <laughs> it's okay.